Yes, hello everybody. Hope you have an amazing day. Today's topic is about the tooth, which is a very huge topic. Each tooth is composed of three parts. The crown, the root, and neck. The crown is the portion of the tooth that projects above the gingiva, which are the gums. One or more roots are situated below the gingival that hold the teeth in bony sockets called alveoli. This is one for each tooth. The neck is constructed part between the crown and the root. Teeth are made up of three specialized tissues, the dentin, the animal, and the cemento. Within the tooth, there is the central pulp cavity occupied by dental pulp. Also, the dentin is a calcified tissue of the bone. It is covered by enamel on the crown and cementum on the root and surrounds the entire pulp. The dentin is made up of 70% of inorganic materials, hydroxyapatite, which is a crystal calcium phosphate, 20% of organic materials, which are the collagen proteins, and 10% of water. The organic matrix of dentin is secreted by odontoglasts, cells that line the internal surface of the tooth, separating it from the pulp cavity. Odontoblasts have the structure of the protein secreting cells. These cells have slender branched cytoplasmic extensions called odontoblast processes that penetrate perpendicularly through the dentin. Dentin consists of microscopic channels called the dentinal tubules, which radiate outward through the dentin from the pulp to the exterior cementum or animal border. These tubules contain fluid and odontoblastic processes or odontoblast processes. There are three types of dentin. The primary dentin, the secondary dentin, and tertiary dentin. The primary dentin is the outermost layer of the dentin. It borders the animal. The outer layer closest to the animal is known as the mantle dentin. This layer is unique to the rest of the primary dentin. Mantle dentin is formed by newly differentiated odontoblasts. Below it, the circumpable dentin is situated. This is more a mineralized dentin which makes up most of the dentinal layer. It is secreted after the mental dentin by the odontoblasts. The secondary dentin, which is also called the regular secondary dentin, is a layer of dentin produced after the root of the tooth is completely formed. It grows much more slowly than primary dentin. It has a similar structure to primary dentin, although its deposition is not always even around the pulp chamber. Tertiary dentin, which is also called the irregular secondary dentin or reparative dentin, is created in response to stimulus such as a carious attack. The tertiary dentin is deposited rapidly with the spares, an irregular tubular pattern, and some cellular inclusions known as osteodentin. There's also the animal. The animal, along with dentin, cementum, and dental pulp, is the hardest substance of the human body. The richest in a calcium and in vascular, it consists of about 95% of calcium salts, mainly hydroxyapatite, 1% of organic materials, collagen proteins, and 4% of water. The animal consists or contains elongated animal roots that are bound together by interrod animals. Animal root is a tightly packed mass of hydroxyapatite crystals in an organized pattern. Animal roots are found in rows along the tooth and within each row. The along axis of the animal is generally appendicular to the underlying dentin. Both interrod animal and animal roots are formed of hydroxyapatite crystals. These differ only in orientation of the crystals. The cementum is a specialized calcified substance covering the dentin of the neck and root of the tooth. Cementum is similar in composition to bone, although harvation system and blood vessels are absent. It is thicker in apical region of the root where cementocytes, cells with appearance of osteocytes like osteocytes, cementocytes are encased in lacuna that communicate through canalicula. Cementum is secreted by cells called the cementoblasts. The chemical composition of cementum has 65% of inorganic materials, mainly hydroxyapatite, 23% of organic materials, mainly collagen type 1, and 12% of water. There are distinguished two types of cementum. Acellular and cellular. The acellular cementum has no cellular components, covers all surface of the root of the tooth as a thin layer of calcified matrix. 
The cellular cementum covers one third to half of the root apex, contains cementocytes and calcified matrix. The main rule of cementum is to anchor the tooth by attaching it through the periodontal ligament. It also plays an important role in forming of new teeth. Its bottom surface is tangent to the periodontal ligaments running through the jaw, through the collagen fibers, and the upper portion of the surface is firmly cemented to the dentin of the tooth. Dental pulp is the central part of the tooth filled with soft connective tissue. The central region of the coronal and radicular pulp contains large nerve trunks and blood vessels. The dental pulp has three layers from innermost to the outermost. The cell-rich zone, the cell-free zone, and the odontoblastic layer. The cell-free zone is rich in both capillaries and nerve networks. And the cell-rich zone, it contains fibroblast and differentiated mesenchymal cells, while the odontoblastic layer contains cell bodies of the odontoblasts. Cells found in the dental pulp include fibroblasts, the principal cells, odontoblasts, macrophages, granulocytes, mast cells, and plasma cells. Associated structures of the tooth are responsible for the attachment to the surrounding tissues and allow a sensations of tooth and pressure. These associated structures are the cementum, predental ligament, alveolar bone, and gingiva. The periodontal ligament is composed of a special type of dense connective tissues whose fibers penetrate the cementum of the root and bind it to the bony wall of its socket. Its fibers are organized uh, so as to support the pressures exerted during mastication. Alveolar bone forms the socket and is in immediate contact with the periodontal ligament. Its primary bone is which the collagen fibers are not arranged in laminar or lamellar pattern. These fibers are arranged in bundles that penetrate this bone and the cementum. The gingiva is a mucous membrane bound to the peristium of the maxillary and mandibular bones. It is lined by stratified squamous keratinized epithelium. This epithelium is bound to the tooth animal. Between the animal and the epithelium is the gingival cervix, which is a small deepening surrounding the crown. So that is all for today and don't forget to like, subscribe and share all the videos and see you in the next video.